Okay, we're here at this uh, big, huge timber attic. This is a portico sticking out. And uh, right here on the right, you can see the miners, a little pegboard here where they would have hung their name tags when they came off their shift that way. If there was an accident in the mine, like a collapse, they would check and see whose name tags were here and whose wasn't. And whose ever name tags weren't here, that's who was left in the mine. And that's what that was used for. And, uh, so here inside the portico, you can see some of the timbers here in the ceiling that are, that have snapped and are about to snap. Okay, this is the last chance mine. I'm here with Tom and Julie uh, from their YouTube channel. There will be a, a slide out card that will appear in the upper right hand corner of the screen right about now with a link to their channel. So check out some of their videos. But uh, check out this main haulage tunnel. It's about 12 feet wide and 12 feet tall, almost a perfect square, and some really heavy-duty timbers here, and uh, massive amount of cold air blowing through the portal, so this must lead somewhere and have some extensive workings uh, if there's that much airflow. Little little pocket there they dug out. That even might go up. Uh, it's just a dead end. Look right here. Here's a wedge hooked onto that big metal hook right there. Interesting. Here's a second. Iris Cola. And that's got the old-fashioned pool top, so that's a really old can that somebody hid behind those rocks. I've never heard of Iris Cola. I'll have to look that up. So we'll keep going down here and see where this goes. Okay, here's another timbered section. And remember, they only timbered in the areas of the tunnel that were prone to collapse. And you can see here how this section you know, it's kind of like that. See all the debris? And uh, it's kind of fractured all through here. That's why they timbered here. What's this? <laughs> and uh, so that's why they timbered there. And that's looking back at the portal. We've come in about 150 feet. So we'll keep going down here. Another he heavily timbered section. Look how they used, they used drill bits up in there. See, there's about four drill bits acting as part of the support here. And that's why they timbered here because of that right there's a collapse that came from behind the, the side wall and look what's above us wow that's just a jumble of boulders kind of being held up by all these timbers in the overhead and another drill bit jammed into the rock Okay, here's another timbered section, and you can see why they timbered here, because all this collapse. They knew this was a very unstable and fractured and weak part of the tunnel. And you can tell by all this debris that's on the tunnel floor, like right there in front of me. So, it's always cool to see the timbering, but that means you're passing through a very unstable part of the mine. So it's best not to linger too long in the timbered sections. And that's pretty much it for the timbering. And now we're back in the main part of the tunnel. And my voice sounds, there's more reverberation here. Uh, back in that timbered section, 
right back there, my voice was kind of muffled. I don't know if it came across in the video, but that's a section of very weak rock, soft. So there's the portal, we're about 200, 300 feet in, and here's the first junction off to the right, but it looks like it was a dead end, and the main tunnel continues that way. So here's where a big chunk of the uh, ceiling, the overhead, or what they call the back, fell down from up there. See that? All that was right here. Hope there's not a mine explorer underneath it. We'll never know unless we start digging. But uh, anyway, yeah, the tunnel continues. The miners uh, probably should have timbered this section, but they didn't. So that's what happened. Big collapse. So here's some timbering that's kind of on an angle. And look. Look at where the side of the tunnel meets the overhead. Look how smooth that is. So I guess miners refer to the uh, ceiling as the back and the sides of the tunnel as the ribs. So right there is where the rib meets the back. And it's kind of on an angle. A big ladder. I've never seen a ladder that wide before. Usually they're half that, that uh, width. It's a big ladder. More support timbering in the overhead just for support. Because that was a weak area. And then now we'll keep going down the tunnel this way. Here we go, you guys. So we've hit the first major junction. The main tunnel continues that way. And then here's a branch to the right, which looks like it might be a dead end. And then we got a huge ladder here that goes to upper levels. And that goes way up. Alternating platforms and ladders. Yeah, we just noticed this is 6600 Manway. This is the Manway to the 6600 level. And 6600, that just refers to the elevation on the mountainside that that that, uh, that that particular level is at. So it's 6,600 uh, 6, feet above sea level. So we're, we're lower than that. So this is probably like the, maybe the 6,200 6, level, something like that. But check this out over here. Look at these big ore, ore shoots. I've never seen an ore shoot with a piston like that before. We got some chain. And uh, that's pretty, there's, one, there's another one behind it, too, back there where my light is. So here's the second chute, metal, with a piston. That's pretty amazing. So you can see the uh, pipe there in the back. I don't know much about how these would work, but... Um, air or water I don't know and uh, if anybody knows how this would have worked let us know in the comments but yeah another massive ore shoot and you can see lots of timbering up there above us and we'll keep going down here follow Tom and Julie we're still in the main haulage tunnel And looking up here, wow, just a lot of really heavy timbering. And it looks like there's some pipes right there going up behind that timbering. But we'll keep going down the main tunnel. So here's the 918 rays. And that's this. And a rays is a... Uh, usually vertical passageway between levels in a mine used to transport the ore from one level to the next lower level. And uh, that must go up off to the left there, this raise. This one's not really vertical. Might turn vertical up there, but that's what that's indicating. 
And we finally picked up the ore cart tracks right here in front of me. To 669, I don't know, drift, some ladders going up. So we are approaching the end of the main haulage tunnel. It smells kind of funny back here. Um, Tom and Julie were just down here, and uh, this might be sulfur. It has sort of a sulfur smell. Um, yeah, they timbered here. Again, you can see the ore cart tracks. I think Julie said her oxygen meter went off when they got here, which makes sense because there's no airflow in this part of the tunnel and there's sulfur here and it kind of smells funny. She said her oxygen meter only it spread 19.5%, so that's still optimal. But uh, there is the uh, face of the mine zooming into it. That's as far as they got. So we're heading back out, but uh, we're going to take this branching tunnel that we skipped on the way in. I'm assuming that X means a dead end or somebody died. Some interesting graffiti. SB79. I'm assuming that's 1979, but I'm not sure. Smoke pods. And here's another ladder. Remnants of one. Okay, so big, heavy, heavily timbered uh, section right here, and the tunnel's curving to the left. Oh, wow, look, that goes up, up into a stoped area. Discarded piping, probably ventilation tubing. I would think that's pretty, pretty lightweight pipe. That's probably for ventilation. That would be hanging from the tunnel, from the ceiling, from the back, and they'd pump air through that. If that's what that actually is. So this drift ends right here this branching tunnel. Okay, we're going to climb these ladders to the 6600 level. Tom's going first. These ladders are in pretty good shape. So we found here in the mine a pair of rubber coveralls, yellow in color, that the miners probably wore. So, and Julie's doing a nice job of modeling them. She is. She could be on the prices right. <laughs> right. Okay, so we're continuing down the uh, 6600 level. It says right here, they did some more sampling, and this says, no good. And we're approaching a junction. Wow. Branches off of branches off of branches. Okay, Tom's making his descent back down to the main haulage tunnel. Don't drop rocks on my head. Right, yeah, and then we're going to go down and turn.